Recently, I felt the need to make another video about my past since the other two videos weren't as deep compared to the one I'm gonna make right now. And to the very few people who haven't seen those videos, there were videos about my mental health on the internet towards being lustful and trying to make a relationship online, which it became more of me acting like an incel who made being horny as a personality trait and overstepping people's boundaries because I'm a pathetic gooner on the internet. A good part of my life had been tough since I barely socialized with people which made it hard for me to open up to people that I wanted to connect with. And it didn't help when it was around 2020 where almost everyone had to self-quarantine themselves. So it became more unbearable that I sat in my room for a good chunk of my life from age 17 to 19. I've been really sexting and sending nudes to other people which became a coping mechanism for my feelings of loneliness and that resulted into doing even more irrational decisions I've done over the past. At times I would get catfished by people I've traded with, threatening me to expose my news to other people on the internet and also having late realizations that the person I was talking to lied about their age. Obviously, by the time that I knew that, I blocked them immediately because, you know, I'm not trying to catch a case right now. <laughs> but ever since I turned 20 this year, it became clear to me that acting like this wasn't really good for me. Since I had a conversation with a person through a dating server on Discord that I've tried to have a conversation with, but I fumbled the bag very easily, which I turned into a simple conversation into me having fixations towards like a fictional character that I want to shove their hand up my ass and do like the most out of package shit I could ever say. It's it's like the same thing that you would see from smut talk of a bunch of middle-aged women like cooming over something like uh, fi uh, fictional uh, romanticized like novels that they uh, share online that no one asked for but anyway it clearly made the person I was talking to very uncomfortable in which they straight up told me how disgusting and foul I was as an individual and I should act around my age and immediately blocked me afterwards and told it to everyone else on the server. With that moment, I fully realized how sad my life really is due to how frequent I would do this back in 2020. Relentlessly trying to match the person that uh, related to me in which I can fulfill my desires of uh, fulfilled my loneliness which became an unhealthy habit of being lustful over people that don't fully know me. That moment, it made me to decide to go off the grid for quite a bit until I came back and made YouTube. This was the only safe place I could really be com comfortable to be vulnerable and to really be as brutally honest towards my uh, audience that s had supported me throughout the journey of my the YouTube channel. And ever since I watched the Pyrocynical video about his response and the aftermath of how glad he uh, responded to that video and how it lifted the guilt from him and now he could just move on with his life and that's something that I would want to do for me. As for my final thoughts, I wanted to share. I don't want your sympathy nor forgiveness from my past actions, but I want you to know to understand why I needed to make this video to begin with, while also 
I by no means have any intention of taking advantage over someone to do anything harmful to them. It was just basically my selfish desires that took over me. And it was just like personal struggles and which made me do lots of gross things. At the end of the day, I'm just really a closeted virgin who likes to talk to furries on Discord. So, yeah. I already told my side of the story so that any other new viewer could make their decisions whether or not they should support me or not. Because I don't want to drag this video on too long because it will, it will slowly be me venting about my past trauma. But that's about all I could say right now. And I'll be posting more. So until next time, see you later.